Hey YouTube, um, it is Chromie Bella again. Just wanted to um, come back to you because, man, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't get this camera to focus. Maybe that's better. I don't, I don't know. Um, but in any event, I wanted to come back to you because I've mentioned in my past couple videos that I'm doing a castor oil experiment with um, hair growth and then I also mentioned that I'm doing a black tea rinse so I just wanted to give some general information um, I haven't finished um, using them I'm doing them both um, concurrently for six weeks so you know I'll come back after that time and, and post how everything went but I just wanted to share with you guys um, what I'm using so first um, I'll share with you the black tea and the black tea that I'm using, I guess you can use any black tea that you want, but this is Tetley British Blend Premium Black Tea. Um, and then this particular one has 80 tea bags. Um, <clears throat> and the tea bags look like this. They're really cute. Um, and I think this was like 2 or $3 at Walmart. Uh, for 80 so it was the best deal on the black tea, so I picked up this one. Um, I thought this would last me or should last me um, about eight weeks, probably a little less because I've also been drinking the black tea, but um, it, uh, it should last a while. Um, basically, what I did is I looked at a bunch of tutorials on YouTube and then um, I decided to follow, um, I guess, a couple of the instructions that I saw. Um, I guess you can use anywhere from 8 to 10 or 12 tea bags depending on how long your hair is. Um, you can either put it on your hair warm or cold. Um, you can let it steep um, just until the water cools down or you can let it steep until the next day. Um, so what I decided to do was I used 8 tea bags and um, I, I boiled water. Um, I boiled about 2 cups of water. And then I put eight tea bags in it after it was boiling, and then I just set it to the side on my stove and let it steep. Um, I actually forgot about it, and then later on in the day, I was getting ready to do my hair, and then I remembered, oh, I have that black tea sitting on the stove. By that time, um, it was, um, I think, past room temperature. It was um, even a little cooler than room temperature, but it was completely steeped. And um, after I shampooed my hair, I just took uh, the measuring cup with the two cups of uh, black tea in it and I ran it over my hair. You know, very kind of little amounts, I guess, and everywhere over my hair. And then I kind of poured it over the area that I was focusing on, which is this area here, um, and did a high concentration like in this area here. Um, and, uh, then I wrung my hair out, I put on a plastic cap, um, I let it sit on my hair for 10 minutes, um, the recommended time is anywhere from 5 to 20 minutes, um, I let it sit on my hair for 10 minutes, um, it did feel a little, I guess, astringent -y or drying or something like that when I put it on the hair, so... I took the plastic cap off after 10 minutes. I put some conditioner on my ends um, and I guessed it through the length of the hair, but I didn't put a whole bunch like up in my scalp. I just kind of put it on my ends and um, then I put the cap back on for another 10 minutes and then I rinsed it out. And surprisingly enough, a lot came out. I really thought that the tea wouldn't really stay in there because it's so, I mean, it's water, it's tea. You know what I'm saying? It's so watery. I, I was shocked that it actually stayed in there on my scalp, but it did. Um, I also wrapped my hair up um, in a towel very tight around my head on top of the plastic bag just to keep whatever tea was coming out or dripping out of the bag um, from running down my face. And that did work. Um, it did stay in my towel, but it did work. Um, so that's the black tea and the black tea is supposed to um, add a shine or kind of like a glow to dark hair 
Um, it also darkens the hair, so if you're like me and you cover your gray and you have areas that are like light brown because they're really gray, not dark brown, um, the uh, tea will kind of darken those, um, darken those areas. Um, and what else did I see about, uh, basically I, I decided to um, look online about what black tea actually does because I didn't want to, you know, be using this treatment and then come to find out it's like some type of snake oil treatment and it doesn't really work. Um, I haven't experienced a difference in shedding as of yet, but I'm trying. Um, it also thickens the hair if I didn't, uh, if I didn't mention that. Um, but anyway, so I looked online for what it does for hair, and I guess there's a chemical called DHT or dihydrotestosterone or something like that. And basically, it, it's uh, testosterone that has sort of become, it's like testosterone on steroids or something, I don't know. It's just some harmful level of testosterone in the body. And when you, um, when your, when your, the testosterone that's in your body reaches a level where it turns into DHT, it inhibits hair growth. And DHT in the body, as well as DHT um, attaching itself to your hair follicles, thins out the hair and then ultimately um, kills the hair. Um, I actually went to a bunch of sites that were about female pattern baldness and male pattern baldness and they had a bunch of information on there about you know DHT and black tea and all this other stuff so I thought okay you know this stuff must really work if people are using it for um, like baldness and alopecia. Um, in any event the black tea inhibits the growth of uh, um, or the the it wouldn't be growth but it, it inhibits the production i guess of uh, testosterone into dht it's like a dht blocker um, i actually read a study online that um, harvard school of medicine did um, in reference to dht on lab mice and by ingesting black tea, it reduced DHT in the body by 72%. So it was significant. Um, that's actually 1% higher than, I guess, one of the most highly recommended products that they have right now for people who are experiencing um, hair loss. So it's, it's a very, very good um, substitute for, um, you know, someone who is thinking maybe their hair is thinning or whatever. You could try this and see. Um, they also recommend that you drink the tea as opposed to putting it on your scalp. However, um, I did see some information about putting the black tea on your scalp and then it does help um, with the DHT that's been produced that's on your hair follicle because it'll go down into your pores and then whatever DHT has kind of attached itself to your hair follicles, it will get rid of or I guess at least 72% of it, which is significant. So um, anyway, just wanted to share um, the black tea and then also I am drinking a black tea iced tea <laughs> that I make because I'm also going to be doing that. Um, and then the other thing that I'm using is castor oil. And this is getting a little oily so you can't see it that well but this is castor oil I bought this castor oil for maybe four dollars or something like that from um, Walmart and there are a couple of different ways I've actually been using that castor oil um, I'll put it on my fingers and then I'll massage it into my fingers and then I'll go up in the area of my hair that I want to focus on and I'll just massage it I'll do that like maybe two three times a week um, on my wash day I pull out a bowl and I use a hair coloring brush and I pour some of the castor oil into the bowl and then I section my hair off into um, four sections like two in the front and two in the back and then I go through with the um, with the brush and I kind of like like for example I would part this hair here and then I would go right at this part and I would um, brush that part. Then I would make another part like that and then I would 
brush that part with the oil just on the scalp and then I take that little section that um, you know that I've just filled with the castor oil and then I go up in there with my fingers and I massage it and then when I'm done with that section I move on to um, the next section so anyway that's how I've been doing um, this castor oil they recommend that you rinse it out the next day um, you can leave it in for a couple hours. You can put a hot towel on top of it. I was actually uh, doing some research and saw that it's better if it's applied warm. So that's something that I'll probably start. Um, but castor oil is fantastic. I mean, it's fantastic for hair growth. They say um, because of the massaging that you do, it stimulates the scalp. So that's part of it. But then it also puts the oil down into um, the hair shaft, which I guess moisturizes and coats the hair shaft and makes for healthier hair. So the hair isn't really thicker, but it appears thicker. It's, it's, it's maximum thickness, I guess, because the hair is that much healthier, um, is the way they put it. Um, so that's why it seems to thicken the hair. Um, I was kind of wondering about that because I was like, well, what happens? Do like little hair start sprouting up and then it's thicker or you know, but actually it just thickens the hair strand itself by um, creating a situation where it's it's healthier um, than it was previously. Um, they also said that um, castor oil is a great scar uh, remover. So you can rub castor oil on a scar every day and it will um, remove it. They even said that it um, it's fantastic for um, scars that underlie tissue. So like if you have a scar from an operation or a scar that's uh, underneath the skin surface, you can put castor oil on it and it breaks down um, the scar tissue, which I thought was incredible. So, you know, just God-given stuff. I mean, castor oil and black tea, you know, you can't go wrong. They were selling like hundreds of dollars worth of hair products on these hair boards that I decided to go to to see if I could substantiate what I've been seeing on YouTube. And um, I, total, this wasn't even $10 and it looks like it's gonna kind of do the trick. Um, the other thing about castor oil is it's great for the skin. It's an anti-aging um, oil. So they recommend that you can put it on your face um, and other parts of your body too um, to diminish wrinkles. The only thing is that they recommend that that be cold pressed castor oil, which is also recommended for the hair. Um, mine doesn't say it. I just have never seen a castor oil that's not cold pressed. Um, but I thought, you know what, I'll just wait until um, I kind of like re-up um, and then when I get a new bottle I'll make sure that that particular bottle says cold press I just won't get it at Walmart uh, Walmart had it in the laxative section uh, which it can also be used for and um, so I figure if you can eat it you can put it on your scalp um, but in any event so don't do what I do did get cold pressed castor oil but um, that's that so anyway just want to touch base with you guys and and give you the updates about the benefits of the black tea and the castor oil and um, you know if you're having shedding or you just want to thicken up your hair or you want to darken your hair give your hair like an additional glow or luster um, or just make your hair as healthy as it possibly can you might want to incorporate uh, you know one or both of these things into your regimen all right, everybody have a great day. Ciao.